in this short video, we're just going to uh, go over a few things for this uh, pre-activity uh, work that will help you prepare to do the um, experiment with your Romy robot. So um, this is actually um, the Avex Grab, I think it was called the GrabCAD robot, GrabBot, GrabBot. Um, and it weighed about six pounds and had these four inch diameter wheels and whatnot. So in this first problem, you want to uh, exert a force of four pounds and you have to determine whether or not it's going to slide or tip. And um, a good way to do that, of course, is to give you some moments about the bottom of this front wheel here. And if set up your free body diagram with the forces on the wheel, and if uh, you end up with uh, a negative force on the, the wheel on the left here, then obviously it would tip, right? If you end up with it's in its equilibrium and there's a positive force on this wheel, then it's not tipping and it would slide. Uh, if this force pulls out of equilibrium, 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 meaning it's either going to slide or it's going to tip. Okay, so um, you can, um, it should be fairly straightforward. And anyways, at that point, you should be able to determine um, the coefficient of friction. And uh, then this, this uh, next question has to do with uh, what's the maximum angle can be, it can climb based on traction if it's four-wheel drive. And uh, most of the, uh, the quizzes here, that these uh, online quizzes, you'll have multiple opportunities. In other words, uh, most of them you have either two or three, depending on the question, to uh, try and get it right, to get the points. They are graded quizzes. Uh, so you, and again, you'll, you'll want to work on these with your teammates but uh, the way Canvas works, I can't have it as a as a group. So so you can all put in this. You can work together and put in the same answers on this because uh, it is a team activity. Um, and then we also want to talk about stability limits. In other words, um, if it's a four wheel drive robot, you can figure out what its traction limit is, what the maximum angle it could climb, um, based on the amount of traction you have. But it all could, also could be limited. And that it might tip over. You might tip over before you lose traction. So, um, uh, so there's an easy way to do that. So, in other words, we want to know uh, what's the maximum angle we can climb based on stability frontwards, and then also backwards. Okay. So let me see if I can bring up the SolidWorks here. So this is just a SolidWorks sketch, and um, you know, so this line right here is is going to represent the weight. And I can just grab here, and you can see that um, as uh, the angle increases, this is the center of mass, and here's the, the, the uh, weight, the vector for the force vector for the weight. And obviously, once, you, once that vector for the weight gets past this point, the robot's going to tip over, regardless of how much traction you have, right? In other words, the center of mass here, if you some moments about this point, that force is now on the other side of that point, creating a counterclockwise twist. And unless this front wheel was on some kind of track or something to hold it down, the robot would tip over. So one way to um, to do this is just to get you know to to get lined up right on this point, and then just measure that angle. Of course, with um, with SolidWorks, you can just click on the line and um, see what the angle is. Let's see. Okay, and then you could also just move this down until where the line is passing through. It's not some sometimes students make a mistake and they pass it through the axle. Uh, you you want to pass it down through the point of contact on the wheel. So if you were to measure this line again, you know that would be a way that you could do it. So um, let's. So we go back to here. And so these, you can just draw the from the center of mass down to the, uh, we call it the polygon of contact. So from the center of mass down to these two points, and then just calculate this, these angles. This angle here will be the maximum angle you could climb based on stability if you're going driving forwards up the incline. And if you're driving backwards, it would be this angle right here. So, so you can um, uh, answer that question there. And then we want to look at the case based on traction. Suppose we had a rear wheel drive wheel, a robot. So in other words, a case where uh, these are the front wheels are just free spinning and we have rear wheels. The rear wheels are the driven wheels. 
So if we drive up frontwards, right, so it's the, just this back wheel is driving the robot up, you want to determine the maximum angle based on in that situation, all right, and that's the quiz uh, 1D. And then in this case, we're backing up. So in other words, the driven wheel is the rear wheel on the robot, but it's it's on the upper part of the hill, right? So in other words, we're backing up the hill. Calculate what the angle would be in that case. So that would be uh, quiz 1E. And then um, the last part is just what is load L that uh, you could lift with this claw bot? Um, how much load could you if it's in this horizontal position? So uh, anyways, um, that's just a quick summary of what you need to do for this pre-lab activity.